Greetings and salutations, everybody. How is everybody doing out there? And this is Rick Koppel coming at you from Denver. I used to be in Texas, now I'm in Denver. So, you never know what's happened to you in life. I never expected to be here in Denver, actually. So, yeah. You never know what's going to happen. Change always seems to be one of the main factors in, in life, isn't it? So, see, first I guess I'll tell you what I'm drinking today. <coughs> that kind of thing. Actually, it is a little bit of alcohol. It's a Guinness Draught Stout. That's where I put a harp on there. Established 1759. It says it's a long time ago. Had been business for quite a while. Things Irish beer, though. I don't know if Peter ever drinks Irish beers or anything like that. It's always, probably always drinks uh, things like Scottish beers, I assume, mostly. Since he's from Scotland. It makes sense, anyway. So, looks like so far I'm here by myself right now. All by myself. I don't sing very well anymore, like I used to at least, but I can get some tunes in if they're not too high or too low. The range is going to be like that. So, it's life, I guess. Uh, so, sometimes I lament how I used to sound with the radio podcasts and Ray Gun Radio and all the same did back then, chanting all the time. You have to live with what you're given, I guess. So anyway, not to put the show on down or anything, but uh, yeah, we've got a uh, Ubuntu. Uh, not to be people who are so excited about Ubuntu anymore. I noticed when I did a video, a uh, edit video, I uh, uploaded on Ubuntu a while back. So I didn't get very many views compared to the other ones. So I don't expect this one to get a whole ton of views either, but. It's, I'm going to do something a little different with this one. I don't know how many of you have heard of Ubuntu Studio. Ubuntu Studio is kind of interesting to show in that it, it's mainly made for creative people. Now, if you just download the ISO for Ubuntu Studio and you uh, load it up and install it and everything, you get all this stuff on it, all this Lots and lots, 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 lots of stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah, you get all the stuff on it. And you really don't know where, where you're at with it because there's all the stuff in there. You had to look through all the programs on it. And, yeah, so you don't really know what all you got in there. And you have to go through and you pick out and say, what's this, what's this, what's this? Some of it, I don't know sure what it is. So, your average user probably ain't going to have a clue unless they, unless they have done uh, sound stuff and uh, audio and graphics and things like that. Most of those things, I have an idea what they're about anyway, uh, like jack audio and stuff like that. But, but it's got drum kits and midis and all this stuff all over the place. Some of it probably useless to the average advanced user some of it probably pretty good just have to look through your stuff i guess anyway yeah before we get too far in that hey steve how you doing yeah it's good to see somebody here besides myself all by myself i was gonna i was gonna suggest steve that uh maybe i start starting later on purpose like you do or something of course, you don't start on purpose late, but you don't start late on purpose. I said backwards, didn't I? Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, we're going to be doing Ubuntu Studio today. Steve's all excited. Yay. <laughs> and Ubuntu, actually, the installer, when you look at it, is pretty, pretty professional. I mean, compared to a lot of them, it's, like, really nice. Ever does everything it says it's going to do, and it pops out, and it's just excellent. 
It's like you makes Linux that we did a while back, Steve, about two weeks ago. Yeah, they have a uh, it's a void. I think it's MX, yeah, it's MX Linux, but they have it where it installs while you're filling in all the rest of the stuff. Ubuntu already has that. Not seen it before. I wasn't sure where, but it was in Ubuntu. Has that? You might as well go get started on that, right? So, sit back, get your beer, and take off. Steve says he's doing all righty. Okay. Whatever brew you have, whether it's iced tea or hot tea, it's good with me. In fact, I thought about doing hot tea one time, and I don't think, did I ever do hot tea? I don't remember. I had all sorts of kinds of hot teas up there. But anyway, we'll get on with it. Get on with it, Rick. All right, I'm going to do that then. Let's see. Should be looking at now is the uh, Ubuntu Studio um, website. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's uh, based off of 2004.4 LTS Focal Fossa SFC desktop or Plasma desktop. You can get either one on it. And um, yeah, so you can download any one of those and see what you got there however there's another route to this i'm going to do today it's different from the standard uh Ubuntu studio download Let's see you on down here yeah audio it's got all these mixers recorders masters rasters vectors 3d models animated composite edit for videos Photography publishing. And it's got a LibreOffice, Calibre, Scribus, and all the stuff that you might want to use for publishing stuff, as well as other things. I think it's missing some things that I've had in my little uh, distro. I, mean, I think to get to where I need to go, I need to go down here to download here. Now. Yeah. Here's where you download your uh, LTS version. Or you can download the more up to date. It's a testing, regular release testing 21.1. Yeah, it's not as. It's a. Uh, I think it's a little bit more of a. Not as stable as long term support, which this is. But it's more up to date stuff on it. It's more up to date programs you might want or something like that however we're going to instead of this we're going to do this down here if you wish to use other desktop environments Ubuntu Studio can be installed on Ubuntu or any official Ubuntu flavor using the Ubuntu Studio installer yay and it gives instructions you can go here there's instructions on how you do it basically you install one of the other official flavors that's only official flavors and, and once you've done that, simply open a terminal window and type sudo apt install Ubuntu installer. Then once you install it, simply launch it. And then you get all the programs. You see, you get this, you can click what to, click what to install, like we're going to do here in a minute. And there you go. And you want to get the official flavors, which they have listed out here. K and Bootu, L and Bootu, Booty Bungie, Mute Monte, Booty Kalen, which is a Chinese type for Chinese things like that. Hey Adam, how you doing? How goes Adam? Thanks for dropping by. X and Bootu. Um yeah. So you got all these different Bootu flavors. You can you, you can make a studio version out of any of these any of these flavors you want. We're gonna do that tonight with a Bootu bungee. So you want some you want the old traditional get out of the way desktop. At least that's what it claims to be. So we're gonna go there. And there you down you can download it. And that's what I did. Basically I downloaded 
and I don't know if it downloads right away or you gotta click more. Yeah, I gotta click more, of course. You can do a torrent download, which I did, or a direct download, which I didn't do this time, just for the fun of it. I decided to do a torrent download, so I did that. And so, yeah. So that's what I did. I downloaded the torrent. Now we're going to install that in the box. In boxes, which is a virtual machine, for those who may not know that. Yeah. Just enjoying, Adam says, just enjoying some grapes for a snack and updating my Ray Retro Ink 5X Scaler. And... And Steve's working on a video to add to my stream while listening to Rick. Cool. It's interesting all the other things people do when they're listening to me. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I had drag download, or torrent download, whichever one you want. Download Bungie or whatever other, uh, the other official distros are all the same. You, same process you go through. And we'll do, then we'll install, uh, Ubuntu on there, studio, and turn it into a studio system. Alrighty, let's do this thing. So now we're in our boxes. Now, if you're going to put this on a regular uh, file, you of course you'd have to like install it on. Those who don't know. You have to install there it is. Hi so yeah, spongy. Yeah, for those who don't know. Two one point four is what it's based on. Yeah, you can set the same thing up except you you would install it on a USB stick. I have several right here. Here's one. Yeah, so you have a little USB stick you put in there. If you have one Windows or something, you put Etcher on it and uh, update your. Very simple. And then you just uh, boot up onto this drive either, either by manipulating your drives in your system, or if you can do that, man, it just makes a trusted drive in that case. Or if you can't do that, usually F12 is usually the key you hit to bring up a boot menu, which allows you to boot to various parts of the system, depending on what it finds is bootable. But you should find that. So, I got an etcher. This uh, was a virtual box, so it's just pulling and pull that off of there, just like it was a new system. Okay. Of course, one of the interesting things is that there's few distros that that that, uh, that do pretty good with uh, with a uh, what do you call it screen resolution popping up automatically, and that's what I found out with Ubuntu Studio. It's real professionally done, or Ubuntu, Ubuntu, Bungie, whatever flavor you're working with, probably does the same thing. And it's thinking about it, thinking about it, it's looking at it, looking at it. This is booting up in the live environment, which is a thing that allows you to try Bungie, which you can try it if you wanted to. Also install Ubuntu Bungie right away, whatever you want to do. But we're going to go here because we want to get this this uh, resolution more better. And I think maybe at this point, is it going to do it? Yes. Yeah, when I got to this point, I'm trying Ubuntu Bungie, it, it just popped right in the right resolution. Surprise, 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 like that. So that's something I mean by professionally done. It's easy to do. It looks sharp and looks nice, doesn't it? Boot to Bungie. Yeah, Bungie Desktop is a, for those that are not aware, it's a desktop that was made by Solus originally. It's kind of broken away of late to its own, do its own thing, but it has been used by Ubuntu and some other flavors. I know Manjaro has one in their uh, community type things. And I use that for a while on this machine, actually. Bungie. Bungie Monte. Budgie. Budgie. Bud, I have to say this right. Budgie. 
Sabunji's Budgie. So, poison. If I'm, not, I'm not thinking about it, I'll use the word bungee for some reason. Anyway, it's a bird. It's not a. It's not a rope that you bounce around on on a bridge or anything like that. So, okay. So anyway, we got this budgie. Now this is like say a live environment. Now you could just click right on another thing and solve it, but I need to make sure we're gonna get a good. Uh, good uh, link. A good uh, op a good full desktop that I could use, so you see what I'm doing here, better. Okay, now it says English. Yep, yeah. you figure that out, right? If this isn't your language and it's selects English for you, then of course you go to whatever language you want. So then English US and English US, yep, that's a keyboard type layout I have, layout and keyboard type. So I continue. Now, what apps would you like to start, to install to start with? Now, this is what they were talking about, the Peppermint. I think they may even update it. I've noticed they had an update in Peppermint today on this machine over here for, uh, for my uh, in installation. I'm not going to install it again right now, but apparently they've updated it even more. Anyway, it says web browser, normal installation, utilities, office software, games, and media players. It also has a minimal installation with web browser and basic utilities in it. So we're going to, I think we're just so we see what Ubuntu installs in this, Ubuntu Studio installs on it when we get that part. I'm going to do a minimal install. Now download updates once on Ubuntu Bungie. I recommend doing that. It saves time. It actually does in this case, which is another thing I was surprised at is how, I mean, you really had no hardly updates to do when you're done with this. Most of them you see, you click on something like that and it says, it says, hmm, he says he wants to download updates. We'll think about it. <laughs> and then, then it doesn't do it or something like that. Weird. Here you install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware in additional media formats. Especially since this is on uh, this. We're going to go ahead and click that off. It's on my framework laptop, which is more modern. So we want to make sure we install everything on there. Especially if I was actually installing it now. The kernel it puts on here is probably one that wouldn't work for this framework laptop to begin with. So you have to be, keep that in mind too. Okay, now we have two options here, race disk and install and go to Bungie, Budgie, and this will lead all your programs, documents, photos, music, and any other files in your operating systems. And it says advanced features, now I'm going to select, but I'm going to show what they are anyway. You can use LVM with the new Ubuntu Bungie installation, or you can do an experimental. And race disk and use ZFS. We're just going to say, we're not going to select any of those options. Just leave it at none. And, or you can select something else. Which it basically means that uh, you will create a reset petition yourself or choose multiple petitions for Ubuntu Bungie. So you want a home petition per se. And then you'd select that. So you can create a home petition on there. If you, but I have to warn anybody, it's a new user. If you're just coming over Windows or something like that, you probably don't want to do that. <laughs> Unless you know how to partition disk. So, most people are probably just going to say race and install and move to Bungie. And see, install now. Now, it says install now, it means install now. It's going to actually install it now. Yeah, I wonder if it'll do it. So, it says, warned you now, if you continue to change the list, blow will be written to the disk. Otherwise, you'll be able to make further changes manually. And here it tells you what it's going to do. It's going to partition this disk, VDA, which is a virtual disk. Following partition, you're going to be formatted. It's going to create two partition, partitions, excuse me, I can't talk. And uh, virtual disk, VDA, and virtual disk with XST, X, e, EXT4. So, yeah, that's probably going to be a root petition there, and this is going to be a swap more than likely, I'd imagine. 
No, it doesn't tell you what they're going to be, but that's what they probably will be. And it's cooking right now as we speak. Now, like I say, this is all installed in the background. It's going to go through the rest of this stuff. Okay, Denver is correct. That's Mountain Time Zone. Yep. My name is Reek. Whoops. Couple. I can't spell all this off soon at all. Peter's name, we're going to call this. Leave it that. I wouldn't know what the hell I call that word ring was, but Rick, yeah. Choose a password. Password do not match. Now they match. Yeah. Okay, and it's a weak password, but you want a strong password, so think about that. And. I'm going to log in my automatic require my password to log in. Yep. And, and it's, see, it's almost done copying the files over as we speak. It's been copying in the background all the time. So it's a nice installer. It's a professional looking installer. It does what it says it's going to do, which is always what you want, right? Well, if it says it's going to do this, that, other thing, it's going to do this, that. I've had an installer say we're going to install software on your system, and then it doesn't do it. So, it's the first time I've done minimal install, but I'm doing that for a reason, so we can see what all the, it makes it easier to see what the, uh, the, it installs on there for Ubuntu Studio. Now, if I installed everything on Ubuntu Studio, I'd install everything plus the kitchen sink in there, because it's got all the stuff in there. And, yeah, Bungie Desktop Menu, Raven, Side Panels. Yeah, Bungie gets out of your way and provides a clutter-free desktop experience. As yeah, one Peter likes. I don't, Peter's not, he hadn't shown up yet. Had, nope, I don't think so. Peter's probably socked dead today or something like that. They were running, running ragged at work today. So... Yeah, so anyway, we got Budgie getting out of our way, and that's, so if you want a Budgie desktop, this is how you do it if you want to do a studio. It's pretty cool, you can, and then the neat thing about this installation of Muto Studio is that you can install only one of the things you want on it. You don't have to install all the packages like you get if you just download the ISO and install that. Yeah, so say you're, uh, like me, like I like to write a lot, so I write, I write, publish my own books, that kind of thing. I have a set of programs I like to have on there. And I noticed in my test download of this and test of it that it, most of my packages were on there already. So that's cool. Don't have to wonder, hmm. So I downloaded it in the graph. The, for me personally, if I was going to do this, I download the, uh, only the, well, I have to download OBS and Moody Media and all that kind of stuff, because I, I do that, and then I have to download my graphics programs, I have to download my uh, Office programs, like open LibreOffice, things like that, which probably did, did like that. Now, yeah, this looks nice on Ubuntu Studio. Now I'm going to take this opportunity to go ahead and take my my uh, remove this ISO from there that we used to install with, and I'll press enter like that. So. Yeah, now this is going to boot up and it's going to look pretty nice actually. Once I log in, that is. Yeah, it's going to go full screen. Now, this is something I don't usually happen to have on. Hap this doesn't happen too often on. On. Uh, what am I trying to say? 
on virtual machines you too often where it automatically puts in the right right uh, resolution for the screen yeah because as a matter of fact I'm gonna I'm going to get up here full screen this so it gets all that stuff off of my system off of there so you don't have to stare at that and there's what you got now this has a lot of things that has a browser ballot yeah that's interesting yeah so if you want to install one of your other browsers on here it installed Firefox out of the box which is the one it picks as a standard installation but it's got all these others you can put on there you can even put Microsoft Edge on there if you wanted it Chromium which is a precursor to Chrome and you can already install Chrome itself it's a snap and it tells you whether it's snap install or it's just install and install out of your repositories Vivaldi, Opera, Metadori, Brave, or Gnome Web which is the enlightenment, Epiphany, excuse me, Epiphany Epiphany browser. Now I installed. Now you know if you know if you if you ever install Brave on a system before you know you gotta you install PPAs and all that kind of good stuff. Then you gotta install. Then you can do the installation of it and all that kind of stuff. But it does all for you automatically. Go ahead and press. New installation. Yes. It's warned you you're going to put third-party repositories in your repository list. If you don't want to do that, then you don't want to run this. You cancel, but otherwise you hit OK. And it should start here in a second. Singing, oh, oh, it's applying change right now, I see. Right there. Applying changes. And so it's putting an installation on there. Installing the repositories. And then install Brave, and it'll be done. Very simple, huh? Yeah, I like it quite a bit. Let's see what's Nathan saying. He's talking to Adam. Okay. PS2. It's pretty old, isn't it, Nathan? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so it's done. So the browser is installed, and you can use Brave if you wanted to, or you can use Firefox, whichever one, or you, you can uh, go up there and remove Firefox. See, I don't want to use Brave, I don't want to have Brave on here, so you remove Firefox. I tend to leave it there just because if I do any programming for websites and stuff, it's good to have both kinds to see how they're either one's going to react to it on there. Cool. Now you also have customizations you can do on here. You can add keyboard shortcuts in there. These are all things you can do after the fact too, but this is just guiding new users or new people through it. I'm not going to go through all these because my goal here isn't to look in Bungie itself, but to look or this this uh, version of Bungie and Boot to Bungie, but I wanted to. We ought to do updates for sure, yep. You can see how few updates there are. Check for updates. It says 2.4 megabytes will be downloaded. Yeah, for some reason it's got one update on there. Or details, details updates. We'll go ahead and install it. And Password, authentication password, applying changes. It has not a big long update list because you most updates are done on your your graphic installer that you had that we did before. So it has a few. It's configuring snaps, snap D's and stuff like that. Starting million. So it's finished now. They recommend doing a restart. So we're going to do that. Restart sucker now. Ding ding. Now we're back. 
Yeah, you forgot to warn us about flashing lights, and your sense of flashing lights probably want to close your eyes for a little bit. But we're back now into uh, into here. So this is Bungie. Now what I want to do on here for sure is to look at the uh, programs that we have installed on here. Yeah. Look at the menu. It's the menu up here. And yeah, I want to go to this version here since it's easier to see what you got. Okay, there's your accessories. This is basic bungee, bungee stuff. You got plank, plank preferences, plank because the uh, these things down here that's plank basically, it's known as plank. And plank preferences, files that's your file manager. But as you see, this is probably Bungie. I think it's got the the Nautilus file manager, if I'm not mistaken, on it. Looks Nautilus -y to me. Okay. So I was still aware to get to the about function to look for sure. So yeah, Nautilus on it. So that's nice file manager overall. Okay. Now that's your accessories on the internet. It's a Brave Browser and Firefox. Only two things in there currently. Because we installed Brave and they had to install, it didn't install Firefox out of the box. And there's there that's got a calendar in your office. That's all they got there. Minimal, this is a minimal install member. I bus preparation preferences. And system tools. See out all your basic system tools, bungee, desktop settings, bungee extras, color, daytime, displays, keyboard, language support, and all that good stuff, yep. And universal access. You know there's very little in here in the way of of extra stuff. Here's utilities. Tile X, which is a it's a uh, bungees, at least Ubuntu bungees. I don't know about regular bungee, but I think Ubuntu bungee. They tend to use Tilex as their terminal emulator. Screenshot and archive manager. That's all you got on here. Minimal, very minimal install. And personally, I'd like that because I'd like to put my programs on there without having to worry about all of other programs that are on there already. So I got my scripts where, as you know, it, I install my programs on there. And one big fell swoop, thing, and then you got it. So, we're going to go now, kind of keep an eye on what, what all's in here. And what's on this list here. And we'll see what it looks like different when we get in a mood to Studio installed in here, alrighty? So we're going to do uh, shift or soon no control alt t to bring up this terminal here and i should shorten that just to some short <laughs> rick dash standard dash pc dash q 35 dash ic h9 dash 20909 right yeah, that means much to me than anybody so anyway <laughs> we will look at this okay sudo Now, just going to go ahead and do a apt update just to make sure everything's updated in the repositories. And there you are. And it says six patches can be upgraded. Another upgrade? Oh, this is fun. You just upgraded twice already and it's wanting another one. Okay, well, I guess we'll upgrade real quick while we're here. Sudo. Apt upgrade. And yes. It shouldn't take long. It's just got a few upgrades here to do. Real quick. Bing, you're done. Upgrade's done. And so we can go move on. So now we want to sudo apt install. Uh, see it's studio thing. Here is a boot now. I think it's a Mubutu Studio. Yeah. 
And that's when it happened. My stream suddenly ended for no apparent reason. Just poof. It was over with. Done. Leaving all those people watching in the chat room in the lurch. So, I'm not sure why it happened. Because I don't have any uh, shortcuts on my stop and start stream on OBS. So it couldn't have been because I hit the wrong keyboard combination. I actually hit the the key combination would be actually hard because I have to use two hands to do it, so I no idea why I just stream in and maybe YouTube ended it for some reason. I don't know what happened or why. Anyway, so I apologize for all those people that I left in the lurch <laughs> and uh, just isn't streaming or what happened? I don't know. Will it come back? Nope. And uh, I can explain that later on, but any rate, that's what happened. So what happened between the time when the video ended, which is right when I was installing the uh, Ubuntu Studio installer, and the time when I picked up on this is that, that I was uh, I installed it successfully, got it up, and I launched it by typing in, in the terminal, I believe, or no, it might have been on the menu too, I don't know. Anyway, I launched the installer, and uh, so that's where we pick up over there. The exciting part of this whole video is just blown. Happens to the best of us, I guess. So anyway, I decided to put this together so you have some. I left it intact as far as the live stream version of it was. So yeah, so I did minimal editing, basically trimmed it. So you get the full live stream effect. So enjoy. So here is the installer finally. So we're gonna click on all the things. I'm just gonna show you everything that's put on here. So you can just have what you want. I have to add the same together. And Carla. And Ray. Enable the back ports here. Okay. It's installing back ports. It says right there, please wait updating system. So anyway, now it says disable back ports. If you want to disable them again, you can disable it. Click that button. Look at his wallpapers. There's minimal wallpapers, a bunch of few nice ones, but not too many in this install. Several more. Authenticate and away she goes. Now installing all the stuff we just told her to install. Super cool, huh? So, anyway, installing all this, so now we'll see what it turns into when you get ready to what? Well, look at a bungee. Say so you log out, log in for, in order for everything to work. All the Bluetooth packages are already installed, so you can see here, there's nothing, it's all empty. Now, the nice thing about this is, one, you can't uninstall these packages. I mean, you can on one, one base, so if you see, like you, like say you go to Caden Live or Open Shot, you don't want either one of those, you want to, you can uninstall them, but there's no easy way to uninstall the whole package, is what I'm talking about here. However, you can always install a package, so even if the, where you, if you didn't select things, it'll all be sitting here. You run this again, and install other packages if you need them. Or disable the back ports, all that kind of stuff. So we will exit out of this now. And it says log in, log in, but before we do that, we're going to go uname rs and see what it can from. Uh, there's a kernel we currently have right now. It's 5.13.0, 5, 5 which is pretty good for... That's on the verge of being usable on this machine right here. 
on my framework laptop, which I think MX Linux installed 5.14 kernel. So this is one below that. My my work, I don't know my work, but I assume there's a reason why they uh, why they use 5.14 for for these uh, more modern up to date systems, recent systems that come out. So so anyway, we have that, and there you go. Now let's exit out of this. Let's just go reboot. Yeah, reboot anyway. Now the low latency kernel is an earlier version, so you couldn't run that very well here. So here you go. That was just a branding of the Buddha Studio. It didn't look too good, did it? Okay. Here we are. Here we are. And that is pretty much like the menu for 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 Bungie. This is a welcome screen that you get in introduction features. It's pretty handy for somebody that's uh, coming to to uh, Ubuntu and uh, Linux Mint are two of the big distros that most new window users come over. When they first come over to Linux, they usually use one of these things, one of these versions, either a Ubuntu version or or that because you, I actually used L Ubuntu, my first distro that I used when I was on here. Distro means distribution, so it's a different distribution than Linux. Alrighty, so now let's see what all is installed on here, though. I mean, we come over here. Back to the menu, and we have this accessories. There's other main accessories that you saw before. Audio production. You have a 12 channel spectrum analyzer, 16 channel spectrum analyzer. Aeolus, a door, and a door five, I think, is a. A, a video. I think yeah, it's, it's a. It's a, a complement or a fork of Audacity, which is kind of gone a little bit on telemetry issues. So people have created a fork of a door five, which is a record mix master multi track audios. Say edit, but yeah. Some similar to Audacity. We can see Audacity right out here. Zeta AT1, I'm not sure what that is. Correct the pitch of all this is like auto tune. <laughs> yeah, so you want auto tune, you can do that. Yeah, I can create my pitch. I probably should try it sometimes. Seeing something and then try and see if I can use this program to create my pitch and so I get up to high notes that way. Probably pretty easy. So, anyway, yeah, so you got all this audio stuff here. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff in the audio section. Okay. So, yeah, Audacity, Brass or Disc Burner, Calf Plugin Pack for Jack, Carla, that's an audio plugin host, and Carla Control, Digit Edit, that's a the drum gizmo drum kit editor. And you have all this direct out 12, 14, 24, 48 instrument sampler player. Okay, let's just check this out. I'm curious what one of these things is like. You just uh, made a plug into version 1.1.31. Okay. Yeah, click or drag to load. Reverse head 
There's a lot of stuff that some people who are more into this kind of thing would know more about this. What all this does and stuff. Yeah, this is probably some more like professional thing we use. So I'm not going to attempt anything on here because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Interesting. Obviously, makes her some kind. It's got German words up there, so it's got some kind of German on it. And. Yeah. So, anyway, that's audio production. Got drum kits, echo mixer, HL spectrum analyzer, and on, 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 on. Much more down there. You see, you're just in the ease there. By the end of the thing, so there's a lot more to it. Graphics designer. Now you see a lot of stuff there. You got JPEG, Image Magic, Inkscape, which I've used, Creator, which I use, RF Viewer, My Paint, Pick, oh, Pixel. This one we got to duplicate the thing because Krita beats all these sands down, so I don't know why you want my paint on there, or even uh, this pixel art image editor. So when you got Krita in there. Rapid photo downloader, raw therapy, raw photo development program. Interesting. Scribus, which is a publication layout thing. And Cine Studios, which is Created 2D animations and compositions. Uh, and that's all that's in there. Graphics design. You have graphics. Probably uh, some of the same thing in it that was in the other one. But, yeah. Uh, graphics. Oh, uh, well, you have Blender up here. It didn't have Blender in the other one, right? Dark Table Photo Workflow Software. Ebook Viewer. E-Tangle, Font Forge, there's uh, GIMP, the GNU Image Manipulation Program, so that's all that stuff that's there. Plus you have all these GIMP and Creedon and all these other little programs in there. They do practically the same thing, so I don't know why they put all those in there. But I guess if everybody has their purposes, they're going to throw everything in there, so you, whatever you want to use, you got it. Guess you want to. Even now, you remember you just had these two browsers installed. Also, saw this KD Connect. This is, uh, I don't think this is. No, this is Bungie, so it's not, it's not, uh, uh, Plasma. But KD Connect is one of the things that's in Plasma. It was the most Plasma installs. So, this has got. It adds those things in there so you can connect up to your phone, to your computer, if you wanted to, using KD Connect. I've done that one time before where I uh, connected the, uh, where I connected the, where I connected my phone text messaging to the computer. We're pretty good, actually. And I thought every distro I lost that and I couldn't. So, you need playback. And not a lot of the game in there. VLC Media Player and XJDO. Which is a simple video player to get seen from Jack Transport. Okie dokie. So, two video players in there. Office. Yeah, interesting. You didn't install LibreOffice in there. Thought it would have. Yeah, if you do the regular install, not the middle, but the regular install of Bundy, it will install LibreOffice in there. Otherwise, you have to install it yourself, I guess. Install it yourself. So, another uh, same thing. Sound and video. We have some of the same things you have there with the. Audio production stuff and all those programs there. 
System tools, bungee stuff there mostly. This is the Ubuntu Studio information. This is where you get help and support for your Ubuntu Studio thing. As you go to the Ubuntu Studio website, it's got a Ubuntu Studio Cafe. I'm not sure what that is. Visit the Ubuntu Studio. Not support. So I guess it's a place to hang out, I guess, and commiserate with other Ubuntu Studio people. But whatever. And you get a place where you can contribute to Ubuntu Studio. Take it, and all that kind of stuff. Or you go to Ask Ubuntu, which is, I think, one of their forum type places. Where's nice Yeah, on board and Magnus. And Utilities. And. And I had the same thing there they have for video production. So yeah, here's where you have your video editors. OBS Studio, Kane Live, and Blender, and Pivini, Pivini. This engine here, Slow, Slow Mo UI. Subtitle Editor. Full screen and XJDO. So you have all this stuff on here. It's installed. You can take your time, go through it, look through it, figure out what you want to use on it. Anything, of course. And I have a script on my for those publishing because I think the publishing part would need some more help there. Need more stuff on there for sure. Let's see. An office should have at least have installed a have installed some kind of a some kind of publishing thing. Now they, they don't know they, they don't really have a publishing thing here, do they? Yeah, so you expect to be in in office at least. Labor office and thing like that should be there. That's a big uh, thing. Now I have a script file on my scripts. It's called write, writing distro, which changes any distro you put it on into a writing distro. So if you want to make a package, it's your writing computer, something like that, for authors and stuff like that. You can do that using that script. So download and install that script and run it and Bada bing bada boom, you install everything on your system you need for your writing career. Yeah, so it's all the things I've used because I'm a professional writer too. I write books, I have like about 13, about to have 14 books out uh, for fiction, science fiction, and uh, fantasy and science fiction actually. And I got a book, some few non and uh, non fiction books out there too. So some devotionals, things of that nature. Uh yeah. Oh, it doesn't have Calibre and ebook editors, that's good. And a PDF arranger in case you want to rearrange your PDF file. After you create one or something like that. So yeah, it's all pretty good overall. But yeah, it's a little lacking on the on the publishing side of things, but you can create that by writing distro. Distro. Change distro and write distro. So anyway. That was in Buto Studio. Oh yeah, I need to show one other thing here. And we'll make it bigger. And we will go easy. 
Here's the latency, 5.4.0, dash low latency. Now I'm not sure there's any other low latency out there, but that's the only one. Seems like I installed some more well, modern as much as you could. Let's check that real quick, let's see. Uh, apt, search, search on low latency. Yeah, you see a lot of tools. Settings. Right up there's 5.8. It's all that one. It's at least a little more modern by than uh, 4. Point something. Five point four, five point. Yeah, you can install these latency. Here's five point thirteen point oh low latency. I don't know why I didn't install them on our, an equivalent low latency uh, kernel with the. Uh, With the 5.13.0. That make much sense, does it? Oh well, that's what you get, I guess. Yeah, you can probably install one of the low latency kernels, 5.13, so it matches close to what they installed on the other one. And then, yeah, you just basically I install those. You just, uh, do a sudo apt update, no, no, after you've updated, sudo apt install. You take, like, say, one of the other kernel here, and let's say one of this kernel here. You copy that with the Y on the end, plus that. You just paste it in there, so it says sudo apt install that whole thing right there, and then it'll install that kernel. When it installs, then you reboot and it'll boot into it, and that's how it works. So it's pretty simple to install that. And there you go. Looks like we're still cooking on the live stream. 38 minutes going. Yeah. I'm not sure what the problem was. I apologize for all those guys, people who were on my stream before. But stuff happens apparently. I don't know what happened there, but somehow my stream ended suddenly. I got pushed the wrong button somewhere on Peter or something. Probably did something weird. Well, the stream cut off. You know how to get that Pacific stream to cut back up, so the joys of of uh computers, huh? So I guess for that let's look at creating your own Bungie Buto Studio. Not bad, huh? Uh, you can install just packages you want out of there, or you can just install your own packages out of there if you wanted to. That's how you do it if you want to create a Ubuntu Studio. So until next time, may the Linux Force be with you. Bye. Mm -hmm.